this is exercise two in the text uh, by Microsoft Official Academic Course uh, Administering Windows Server 2012 R2 for the exam preparation for the exam 70-411. In exercise 6.2, we're going to be working with configuring the EFS recovery agent. During this exercise, we'll configure the EFS recovery agent so that you can recover EFS encrypted files, although the agent is not the owner of the file. When an employee leaves the company, that employee's files might be encrypted, which would be unreadable to anyone else. Using EFS Recovery Agent, you'll be able to recover those files and make them available to the user or users who have replaced the departed user. The approximate completion time for this exercise is 10 minutes. With that, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and minimize this. And we're going to start off by going into our domain controller, RWDC which I've already logged in as administrator, Contoso slash administrator. <coughs> so the first thing we're going to go do is go into our server manager. Click on manage. And then add roles and features. And then next, next, next. And we want to select Active Directory Certificate Services. And then Add Features. Next. Next. All right, you'll see certificate Certification Authority is already checked. We want to select three other things in here. We're going to select Certificate Enrollment Policy Web Service. This one. Certificate Enrollment Web Service. Oops, add features. And then Certification Authority Web Enrollment. And then add features. And then next. Next. Next, and then install. <clears throat> and I'm going to pause this video while this installs, although I don't think it's going to take much more than a minute or two. Okay, so now we're going to click on close. <clears throat> Okay, now what we're going to do is click on the little yellow triangle, and we are going to configure the Active Directory. So left click. Here we're going to click on Next, and then click Certification Authority. And then Next. Next, 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 next. Our changes to ten years. And then next, next. And then configure. Okay, then we'll go ahead and click on. Actually, if you're following along in the lab manual, this is where you would do your next screenshot. And then go ahead and click on close.
and we'll click on no. And now we're going to look at configuring the EFS recovery agents. So we're going to log off as composed to administrator. Done this. Cancel. Okay, so we're going to log off. as the TOSO administrator and we're going to log in as user one We're going to click on Tools and click Group Policy Management. And then expand, as soon as it comes up, expand the forest, expand domains, and expand Contoso. We're going to right click default domain policy. And we're going to go in and edit. <coughs> Here we're going to expand computer configuration. Expand policies, expand window settings, expand security settings, expand public key policies, And right, we're going to right click, right click encrypting file system. It's right here, so we're going to right click it, and we want to choose create data recovery agent. There, this way it's a little bit easier to see. I already made one. Delete. Yes. Okay, so when we created it, it added this user one over here. All right, at this point, you would take, if you're following along the lab manual, you would again do your print screen from this screen. So now we're going to close out of this. Close out of this. And we are going to log off 
as user1 and log back in as Contoso administrator. Okay, so this brings us to the next question. What is needed for the user to become a data recovery agent? Well, obviously you need a certificate authority. You also need to have an enterprise certificate authority and an, an appropriate digital certificate. All right, this is the end of exercise 6.2. We're going to leave these open for the next exercise. This is also the end of this video.